Hello everybody, it's me, it's Prime Time Off, and I'm here with your retro review for 1984. Now in the main episode, I picked Gears as my favourite Transformer from 1984. Mainly because the toy I'm about to talk about I didn't have in 1984. In fact, it was many years later that I picked one up. And this is the one that I picked up. Um, and it's a little bit beat up, it's missing some bits. But when it comes to G1 toys I have that nostalgia for, that doesn't bother me so much because it's the first one. Um, you know, I've got a, a pristine Gears and yet my beat up old one is my, my favourite. Same with this, and it is sound wave. Uh, I do, obviously this one, um, if you notice, has got a rub sound, so it's not a 1984 toy. However, I think you'll forgive me for that. So let's let's talk about sound wave. Let's just talk about his alt mode first and foremost. So how beautiful is that as an alt mode? Um, you know, it looks like a proper tape player. You could, back in the day, although it does have the micro cassettes, you could absolutely be fooled for that, um, being a tape player. The working slider and knob on the side. Um, the, we the weapon storage, which is the battery storage, means doesn't, this one doesn't have the weapons, um, is incredible. Uh, I think that's a bright bit. The fact the tapes pop out. My only issue I always ha I've always had with this mould, and actually it, I've got something I want to show you in a, a moment that, that um, issue, it deals with this issue, is just the kind of blue in the middle of there. That's the only bit that I'd have said always was that wee one nitpick that I think could have been done better, but um, let's, let's talk through them. Right, so let's do what he came with. So he came with Buzz, so this one came with Laser Beak, and in fact a headless Laser Beak. However, as I keep this one in alt mode, that doesn't bother me. And I've always kept it together because that was the first one of it. It made me want a more a better one. And again, I wanted a, a better one with the, the bits. And I've got a reissue. Um, I've got the reissue that was the double cassette bit. Um, so I've got a more perfect version. Um, but, what was your first in it? What was the first? This has got a bit of steer and tear at stickers. Um, bits on it that just aren't perfect, but Again, when he's in tape mode, it doesn't stress me in the slightest. What a beautiful transformer. An enjoyable, fun transformation. Poses well. You know, you get a decent bit of articulation. Uh, shoulders, arms, means you can do a wee bit with them. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this toy. I have multiple versions of this toy. Uh, and I want to talk some through some of those versions, right? So, I talked about the chest bit. And as I was prepping for this, I was thinking about the new 40th anniversary edition. And this one, I don't know if you can really see it, but this one deals with that issue. So this has got the more prominent um, buttons. So this is based on the more modern releases where the buttons are out, but the colour is shown between them. So when you look at it face on, you can see the proper buttons being segmented out, which I really like. Um, and then this is probably now my favourite version of this mould because I have a signed Frank Welker sound wave. I met him and did not want to get a, a Megatron signed. At that point, I wanted to get a sound wave signed. But again, it's this more prominent one. So you've got a couple of versions. You've got the one with the double chest, which is based on Sound Blaster. That was the Toys R Us edition. Um, and then you've obviously these original ones. But I would argue this is one of the best um, transformers um, it's such an enjoyable transformation such a simple transformation um, I always laughed when I think back to people talk about transformers say, oh adults couldn't get them well, I think I'm an adult now I think um, and I can get them it's just the, the older adults I always like my dad for that so you could get these transformers I'm a better adult than you were he just reminds me that I'm not really an adult. <laughs> a kid, I think the, the one phrase is. So G1 Soundwave is my retro review. An absolute stormer. Uh, if I was to pick one G... Out with my, my original gears, my original gears. If I was to take that, that, that bit away from it and just look at all the G1 Transformers, I think you would be hard-pressed to beat Soundwave. The only one I think comes close is Optimus Prime. But... Same way as my guy. So that was my pick for a rich review for 1984. Look forward to seeing you next week.